Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video about how to determine the area of a circle. So what we're going to do, we're going to do a couple problems together. So take notes with me on the first page. And then you have a chance to pause the video and try some problems on your own. And then at the end you can see how you did. Alright, so to find the area of a circle, it's pretty simple. There's a formula you need to write in this box. And that formula is area equals pi times radius squared. Alright, so that's the formula you need to know. So now that you know the formula, all it is is just a matter of plugging in either the, the radius, okay, or if given the diameter, determine the radius, into the formula, and then you can solve for the area. All right. So for this one, we have the radius is 3 inches. So we have the value for r. So what I recommend you always do is write down the formula first. So area equals pi times radius squared. All right. And we know that the number for pi is 3.14, so it's going to be 3.14 times our radius squared. Again, our radius is 3, so it's going to be 3 squared. And then the only way to really mess this up is you need to follow the order of operations. So we're going to do 3 squared first before we multiply it by pi. So 3 squared is 9, so it's going to be area equals 3.14 times 9. And then when I do 3.14 times 9, I get an answer of 28 and 26 hundredths. Now, the labels matter. All right, so because we're talking about area, it's not going to be inches. It's going to be square inches. So you need to add the 2 there. All right, so there is the area of a circle that has a radius of 3 inches. Now, this one, notice they give us the diameter. All right, and remember, the diameter is twice the radius. So we need to cut this in half to get the radius. So we know the R value is going to be 5. So again, just like before, always write down the formula. So area equals pi times radius squared. And then area will be 3.14 times, so 5 squared. And then remember, 5 squared is 5 times 5, right? Not 5 times 2. So 5 squared is 25, so it's going to be 25, so area equals 3.14 times 25, and 3.14 times 25 will give us 78.5 or 1 half, and again, the label is going to be, this time we're talking about feet, right? So it's going to be square feet, and there it is. Alright, so the big thing to remember about finding the area of a circle is the formula Area equals pi times r squared. All right, so why don't you pause the video and try the your turn now problems. And when you're done, hit play. And you can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say I did this practice problem. So for this circle, we know we have the diameter is 40 inches. So again, to get the radius, we're going to take that and cut it right in half. So we know the radius is going to be 20 inches. So now that we know the, the length of the radius, let's write down the formula. So area equals pi times radius squared. And we know our radius is 20, so I'm going to fill in the 20 for the r. So it's going to be 20 squared times pi, which is 3.14, equals the area. And again, follow order operations. We need to do the exponent before we multiply. So 20 squared is 400 times 3.14 which will equal the area, that's a 0.14. And then finally, 400 times pi will give us an answer of 1,256. And that's gonna equal the area. But again, the, the label matters here. So because we're talking about inches, it's gonna be square inches. So inches squared, and there it is. All right, how'd you do?